Hi, I'm Steve Sagner, uh, the owner of El Portal in Sedona. We're behind Talakapaki, and we're an upscale arts and craft hotel. Uh, I heard that there was going to be gardens uh, in West Sedona that had kind of fallen through, and I got thinking about it. I owned uh, two acres on Snebley Road, which is the old steel property, and it actually is uh, a farm, so it has good soil, unlike a lot of Sedona. And uh, we've always grown a little of our produce up at our farm. We have a little farm up at Indian Gardens, and it's the old Thompson estate. So we have 100 apple trees, and we grow uh, some produce. And I thought, well, this year, let's do it right. So we, I'm building a, a quarter acre area now, and we're just going to let anybody who wants to come and join the group to kind of do it. We can garden as much as two acres. Uh, I've had the mayor over. I've had the city park and rec over, and they like the idea. And, They've uh, talked about funding next year, if nothing else, for some porta potties and some chairs and benches and maybe help with the water. But I'd really like to see the area uh, turn into a full-time garden. Uh, we can't build on it for a while, and I think it would be a great city park. But in the meantime, I'd just like to get some people that like to get their hands dirty. The hotel, if you've ever been here, we have a lot of plantings and I do a lot of gardening around here, but it's pretty much gardened out. So now I wanted to uh, do a little, something a little closer. Plus, we, we go through a lot of, of produce and a lot of peppers. So we're going to put in a lot of peppers uh, in, for our breakfast in the mornings. The whole area along Snebley Road is kind of a rural area and I'd like to see it stay rural. And we have the two acres there. I think it would be a great place for a city park or if nothing else, a garden like we're going to do where people my age can go over in the evening or in the morning and garden a little bit. Well the whole area along Snebley Road is kind of a rural area and I'd like to see it stay rural. And we have the two acres there. I think it would be a great place for a city park or if nothing else, a garden like we're going to do where people my age can go over in the evening or in the morning and garden a little bit. Uh, not necessarily a child's park with slides and, and uh, plastic furniture, but some place where people can meet, they can talk, and they can garden. I've got a quarter acre uh, plowed now, a manure in it, uh, bone meal. Uh, I've got the drip system in. <clears throat> so all people really have to do is plug in their drip system and they can garden. And all we're going to do is come up with a, a, a fee that helps cover the water. Uh, I figure we'll get enough people together, we'll all figure it out. And yeah, it's ready to go. So I've, I've done most of the work. What I wanted is people to come over and just plant. I've had people talk to me to say they, they need all the food they can get and they go dumpster diving for produce from the markets because there's a need for it. And I'm thinking, well, geez, if that's the case, why don't I grow what I can grow and other people grow? And if we have leftover or we're not using it all, let's donate it. Uh, you can grow a lot of food on a couple acres. And so let's do it. And it also gets you back to nature. And uh, but the other thing I think that I hope happens, just like the hotel does, it gets people talking. You get people with like interests getting together and you meet people who are experts. You know, you'll have somebody that's great on p potatoes and you'll have somebody over here that's great on uh, building the culture or how to, how to farm w with, um, uh, organically. So by getting all those people together uh, is fun. And I kind of ran into this in Pasadena before I built the hotel. I was a woodworker. And I joined a woodworking shop where it was all people my age. And on weekends, it'd be 20 or 30 of us in this old uh, uh, high school wood shop. And we all worked together. And we all helped each other. And we all did projects. And that was a great experience. And it got me into, into woodworking. So I thought, well, let's do the same thing with vegetable gardening or gardening. You know, we're, we're hunter-gatherers. You know, and uh, when I worked at the... Uh, at the woodworking shop, everybody there worked in offices. And, you know, and many times in many jobs, you don't see what you do. You're, you're just part of the process. And in gardening and in woodworking, you know, you are the process. You see what you do. Uh, you make mistakes, you see it. You, you do a good job, you see it. But you have an end product. And I think that's what all people want. They want to have an end product they can be proud of, a point at. Well, I mentioned that the, the city's always looking for parks or things to do at Park and Recreation. So I took the mayor and the Parks and Recreation Department out there and I said, look, this is just an idea. Uh, I think this is a nice rural park area. There's nothing around here. It's going to make sure that it doesn't get built with homes. And we could put a park in here that all the people in, in this part of Sedona could use. You could do the other thing out, the same thing out by the uh, sewer plant. You're going to have a, a great big water feature out there. All the water in the world you're going to need. So it's a great place to put an adult park in. And I say adult park, a place where you could run dogs. You could have all the grass you wanted to have because the water's free. You could have 
uh, gardens. Uh, I'd like to see some greenhouses either, on either location that you could start planting early. So, or if people wanted to do orchids or other indoor plants, they could do that. So, I think it's, the city could do do that in a couple locations. Uh, where they were trying to do it in Midtown, I think it was a little tough. It was a, dirt wasn't well, the, the drainage wasn't great, but in these two locations, we have great soil. So if people are interested, you know, give me a call and. Uh, uh, probably in about two weeks we're going to start dividing plots up and uh, I'll have it all ready for everybody so really all they'll have to do is just poke a hole in the ground and put a seed in. So give me a call.